Tens of millions of pounds of UK aid money has been spent forcibly sterilizing Indian women. Many have died being mistreated, causing outrage from those who suspect Britain simply wants to curb the country's population for ulterior motives. Artis Priya Shweder has the details of this controversial program. Devanti Devi, a 25-year-old mother of three, is living in one of India's poorest states. Just a few months ago, she went for an operation to be sterilized. Unable to afford or access other forms of birth control, Devi thought the operation would help her family. But it went terribly wrong. I gained consciousness around 12 or 1 in the night. I was made to lie down on a bench. I was bleeding heavily on that day. I came home without being given any medicine. As mandated by the Indian government in its attempt to curb India's growing population, around a million women from Davies region are sterilized every year. She says around 80 women were operated on at this school in just three hours in January. After the sterilization camp took place at this school, the police raided the offices of a local NGO and allegedly found video that proves the mistreatment of these women. A new report also shows that many of the NGOs the Indian government uses to run sterilization camps are actually being funded with aid money from the UK. Britain has donated millions of pounds to India since 2005 to fund sterilizations. A newly released document shows that the UK is interested in reducing India's population to cut down greenhouse gases and combat global warming. For me, it smells of this colonial uh, air, it smells of um, actually racism, where kind of hark back to the old population control days, since you can't manage your own greenhouse emissions through excessive use of energy, you come and say that the poor are actually the reason for uh, all your greenhouse gases. This is simply unacceptable. They were asked to pick up all those mo women who are uh, having more than two children. It's a reality that angers women's rights advocates who are determined to stop improper sterilization. They say doctors are under pressure to fill quotas and get bonuses for reaching them. But many women are rounded up without proper knowledge of what is going on and are operated on in horrific conditions. Some have even died from excessive bleeding after the operation. They do not believe on uh, their uh, dignity of life. So they take it as, as is cattle, they are doing to something, service to the cattle or like that. Even for four days, after four days, they are supposed to be taken out those, those stitches. Nobody calls them. For, no follow-up is done. While the campaign is far from over, one message here is clear, that Britain should stay out of it. Davy will never forget what happened to her that day. I still suffer from pain and discomfort. Now there's clotting and a lump has formed. I'm unable to do any work. For the government, its job is done. Another woman who won't add to India's burgeoning population. But for Devi, the dehumanizing experience has left her feeling more of a number than a citizen. Priya Sridhar, RT, Bihar, India.